of Thrones, you win or you cry. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today on our Game of Thrones, where every deck is a typo featuring four copies of the Roaming Throne, we are going to play Vampires and see if we can win seven games in a standard event. A notable omission from my Vampire list, no Vein Ripper. I'm sorry, I think it's really expensive for best of one. It's dangerous how fast this format is. I don't even run Go for the Throat. I run four copies of Cut Down, and I run four copies of Vampire's Vengeance because I don't want to lose to Boros every time. So, like, we're really low to the ground, especially if you're going to run four copies of the Roaming Throne as a four drop. I just don't think I have time for Vein Ripper. I'm afraid. Maybe I do need Vein Ripper. I don't know. Vein Ripper is the hot new card, and I'm playing without it. It feels weird, but I really really want to get there with vampires because vampires are a cool type and there are so many vampires legal in standard right now and getting double triggers off roaming throne on your value vampires feels so good double blood tithe harvester blood tokens double corpse appraiser triggers to get multiple cards double preacher of the schism triggers double evelyn the covetous triggers how could you not want that? How is that not everything a value player like myself enjoys? We're also running Markov Baron, a 2-2 Convoke lifelink that pumps up our other vampires, and we can use the blood tokens to cast this off the madness cost, which can be done at flash speed, which is very fun and cool. And there is plenty of that in the video that you will certainly enjoy. This deck absolutely sucks, and that's by design, because it's vampires. <laughs> this video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 to get a discount at the site. Thank you very much for shopping there. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. You've got to sleeve it to believe it. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Let's get vampiric. It's time to suck. Suck. Because vampires. Because vampires, guys. Because vampires. Uh, I can't change my deck. All right. Uh, no control. No control. No control. No mid range either. Just farm aggro. Bleed them dry. Time to sparkle in the daylight, baby. Come on. Vampire stuff. Words. Um. Hmm. Uncastable cut down on the play. No castable vampires. If we miss a land drop, this hand is so dead. There we go. I mean, it's not great. <laughs> it's, it's actually not great. We'd have to hope that vengeance hits hard. Oh, well, we won the lottery. We just get to play against mono red in round one. Stupid thing, mono red. No value appraiser coming up. Scoundrel with a plus one, plus one counter. Please make a treasure. Please make a treasure. Just ban Kumano. I hate this king card so much. But I guess we'll vengeance here. Maybe we'll also get to kill a phoenix chick. Maybe we're really lucky. They go really aggro. We get a swift spear. Swifty. Come on, do it. Okay, we're gonna try to respond. If they have another instant. Ah! Yes! We have survived. That's a big payoff. That's a big payoff. You're telling me there's a chance. I wish you'd played that first, but okay. Can convoke this out. It has lifelink. And try to block the Swift Spear if they don't cast a spell. That could be cool. Or this Corpse Appraiser might get a cut down. I think it's the Corpse Appraiser. They didn't have another Rage. We know because they could have and would have played it. I mean, I guess it's just more Caverns. I don't want to pay one life for my mana. I guess colorless is fine though. Yeah, it's fine. Yay, get lands off the top. Love that. Kaka. 
Yeah, they look a little worried to me. Let's take it. We have tricks next turn. Let's not use the blood. Let's not use the blood. I have plans. I have plans, and they don't involve Evelyn just yet. Hopefully they don't draw like a monstrous rage and just blow it out. <laughs> that would be sad. Yeah, I get your prowess trigger. Nice. What is their last card is the question. It's not clear. It obviously isn't something that works on toughness. Or they'd be attacking with that swift spear. All right. Convoke, blood token, baron, instant speed, shenanigans. Now we have a block. Too bad you don't fly. Why do none of you fly? All to seven. More vengeance. Get that lifelink swinging. Let's go. Don't know if we're using vengeance this turn. I could just slam Evelyn now and get more trigger off the Epicure, but I think that's greed. That's my card advantage greed, and we're against Mono Red. You can't be greedy. They punish greed. They punish it like it's their job. Out of there. All right, Mono Red Slade, Dex busted. Vampires never doubted him for a second. Beautiful. Beautiful. No roaming thrones needed. Game two. Quick pairing. Elephant Avatar. Quintorius. On the draw, two cutdowns. If they're a creature deck, we have cutdowns. Even if we can't play one on turn one because Haunted Ridge is messed up. Looks like we're gonna get Boros. Hey. Let's see what they do. Wait till they put something on the stack before deciding whether or not to nerf this inspector. Resolute. Then they'll have three. What does three do? Yep, we'll just go for this. They can't do anything with that this turn. Maybe next turn. Okay. Tap land. Say go. If they go land into convoke. Yeah, see, I think they would try this first. All right. I do not like this evangelist. Do I need to kill the Evangelist to make it another bat? And they have the flying that gets in, but they have no battle cry. Or I could just kill one of these. Play the Corpse Appraiser, block the Evangelist. Seems okay. Maybe I'm supposed to take out the bat then? Nah, we'll find a flyer. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. Maybe we're supposed to get Preacher early. This even goes up against a Recruiter, and the sooner you start attacking with this, the sooner we make Life Linkers, which can matter a ton in this matchup. Hard to beat Preacher. It's hard to beat Corpse Appraiser when it's turned on, but since it probably won't hit a one drop, since we already drew two cutdowns. Oh no, they have the full Convoke ready to go. Okay. Oh, without a Vampire's Vengeance, I don't see us beating this. Two more, huh? Is that good? Does that do stuff? Triggers? I mean, I like Life Linkers. You gonna block that? Okay. I don't like losing my Preacher, but I like my Life Linkers. Come on. Come on. What is this hand? This is the most rigged thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is some BS. Let me guess. Two Recruiters? Ah, a little whiffy. 
Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. Are they going to scry? I mean, can I attack them? Probably not really, but... I guess if they don't have a recruiter, why not? Yeah, they tap themselves down. Look how much their attack is for, though. It's insane, right? Because of the evangelists. Everything gets plus three, plus O. Oh. I guess I'll take another roaming throne. <laughs> yeah, I don't play for Vampire's Vengeance because I want to, you know, draw them. Pew. Can't afford this attack, right? It's too greedy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They pump this up twice. 1, 2, 1, 2. No, they have to attack with these. So block, block, block. Yeah, okay. They're GGing me. I don't know, man. Might be premature. A little Vampire's Vengeance would go a long way. And I do get more looks. I get the top seven, eight cards in my deck. Unless they finish me this turn. But we knew their hand. They had to top deck a recruiter. They're acting like they top decked recruiter. Okay. Those can't attack this turn. You can get up in the sky, though. Is that enough with the evangelist attacking? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All they have to do is get this thing airborne without tapping the evangelists. No, I still gain two life. I still gain two life. Oh, wait, but this is more than one. This is going to be for eight. Yeah, this is very lethal. Very lethal. Was I going to draw a vengeance? Was I going to draw a vengeance? I just want to know. No, of course not. Fucking Boros, man. Ugh. Ah, it feels so dirty. All right. Round one and round two. The best decks in the format for best of one events. Cool. Cool. Love it when your vampire brew just gets clowned. I could go do platinum ladder if I wanted this kind of try hard BS. Come on now. Give me something fresh. Give me something chonky. Hey, we're on the play. We have a vengeance. Let's go. His hand is slow. We can't draw a proper curve, but we will have sweet three drops. Yes, we will. Island. It's not Boros or Mono Red. And it has something that targets creatures like Fading Hope. We'll take that. Value, baby. Try for a Preacher. Probably gets countered, but we've got three of them because the Shuffler is fine. All right, this person thinks they're special. Shut up. We've seen it all before. Surge Engine. Vampire's Vengeance target right there. Let's convoke it up. Ooh, cavern. They're not going to like that. I was wondering if we'd draw a cavern this game. You think they'll block? What we want to do is catch them activating it, right? Which is three mana.
Hi. No blocks. Cool. A little four three harvester, no big deal. Activation. Wait for the three mana activation though. They might counter with make disappear, but that's their whole turn. Feels pretty good. They also might lean into the board more. There's the activation. We go for the vengeance. They slam counter spell. That's cool. We're gonna attack them with lifelink. They're gonna have trouble racing us. And they really think they're smart. See what we hit off appraiser. Oh, the fourth preacher. Naturally. Shuffler's so fine. Okay. The one thing I'm wondering is if they're a cauldron combo deck. That's a place I've seen the engine. No, Flare and Terror. No big deal. Come and get it. Okay, that gives me more blood tokens, which makes the harvester kill your surge engine, but you do you. Just moving to combat, don't mind me. Could attack all and try to put them on a two turn clock. Lock here, take, yeah. Let's do it. We've only got one card. If they activate this for six mana, they get three new ones. Time is of the essence. Come on, Dark Lord. You were all chatty. Act like you've been here before. Pressure's getting to him. Sure. Sure. New preacher? I mean, one card and this much rope. What do you think you're doing? I got another one. So what we have to watch out for is March. March of Swirling Mist. Okay, they're going for the three cards. Snap a consider. All that rope, now they're acting really fast. And scooping! Yeah, come back when you're a big fish. On the draw, we cut something down. Maybe we play something on turn two. We'll see if we get lucky. Lots of three drops in this deck. But part of the idea was that the Baron can be a two drop when you draw an Epicure. And the three drops in Vampires are so good. Preacher's great. Corpse Appraiser's great. Vampire's Vengeance is the meta breaker in theory. Got to draw it in the right matchup, but one-sided board wipes are usually good. Because we have all those clunky three drops cut down as a one drop, that gets the nod. Murex Epicure. Okay. So they may not have red mana. Ooh, we draw Vengeance. Probably killing this Epicure though. Because it's a vampire. It's awkward how both Boros and Mono Red have cards in them that the Vengeance doesn't hit. Epicure is in Boros, and Adversary is in Mono Red. Yay, cliffs. All the cliffs. All the cliffs of insanity. Had a feeling. I would love to play against my fourth Knight Errant of Eos in two games. That would be fun. No? Maybe? Yes? Okay. No, they didn't have it. I'd say we wait. If they don't have the Knight Errant there, we might get them to play something else. Like a recruiter. And really blow them out. They discarded the recruiter because they don't have the red source. 
Okay. Play land. Touch cards. That one card you drew a recruiter? Is it a Knight Errant of Eos? That's the more important question, isn't it? All right. It might be based on the way they just played this turn. So let's do this now, just in case. They might have gotten a little greedy looking for a little more information there. 17 to 20 means preachers online, but we also have corpse appraisers. Let's go with appraiser. Let's find roaming throne and let's find more vengeance. I'm, I'm vampire on vampire. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Well, I already have several of these. I'll take the land. Just in case we draw a five drop. Or we want to double spell next turn. Maybe we have Corpse Appraiser into Baron. I'm a Convoke deck too. Maybe I'll get to remind people at some point. It's odd how you almost never convoke out this card. <laughs> There's your recruiter. Might as well take out one of them. Ridge. Do it again. Is Soaring good? Lifelink's good. Actually, we can do this at instant speed, so let's pass. We can even block and then activate blood and convoke out the Baron. It'd be fun to get him with convoke. Most of the convoke lists only have like four or five basic planes at most. It seems really unlucky that their draw went this way. That is a baby knight Aaron. Let's see if they can double hit off it. They do. Easy. card is so sweet. Card advantage! Oh, the vengeance. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That warden, if they activate it, we definitely want to blow that up. So we don't play... If we attack all and they block with Knight Errant on the Baron, we could trade there and have their whole board and they're so far behind. Let's see what happens. I like my Baron, but I like their board being empty even more. Preacher. See? They know they've got nothing when the board's empty. Kaboom! Hello, welcome one and all to CGB's Your In Emporium and Magic Sensei Cabana Dojo. I am your host, the one and only Covert Go Group. The ultimate in card protection is now a proud partner of the dojo. Introducing Ultimate Guard. Behold, black cortex sleeves from Ultimate Guard. Precise inner sleeves from Ultimate Guard. We have a mock sapphire, conservatively priced, at five thousand ah. dollars. Three, two, one. Why, 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 why? Why? Whether you're a casual kitchen table conjurer or a grandmaster mage, deck protection is essential for absolutely everybody. And CGB's your in emporium, we don't just sell gear, we sell victories. Remember, with Ultimate Guard, you have to sleeve it to believe it. Two wins, even money. Just need a 2-2 two -two split. If I get even money on vampires, I'm vibing. Absolutely vibing. Eh? Why? 
I was wondering why I didn't hear music. Come on, arena client. Don't do me dirty. Okay, we're in. We're gaming. It's the miss. On the play with Epicers. We've got the vengeance. We've got extra looks at lands with blood tokens. Let's keep it. Bite me. Not here to chat. I need a shirt that says that. Tap land. Whoa. Epic occurring all over the place. Let's do it. Bang. Plus bang. Equals. How? Might be an awkward turn coming up if we draw the fourth epicure instead of the third land. Shuffler stuff. Danik is a pain in the neck. Okay, come on, land. Don't think vengeance is going to be useful. Come on, land. A little awkward because if I draw the land, I can play it, but here we are. Looks like Shuffler has chosen their champion today, and it's not me. If the opponent just slams Rafine here, we probably can't play Magic. <laughs> I don't know why that took them 10 minutes. Sweet! Love that. It's a cavern, just in time. Yes, we try to get a preacher down. This will get us some life linkers. Maybe we can race. Can't win a race against Rafine and Denik, though. We can just try to keep playing magic. Perhaps you have a Sheldred so I can get out of here. That's nice. Can't be countered. That's something. Could have also played the Harvester. Well, now they don't seem worried about timing, do they? Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> I don't like getting Shuffler screwed. Just get me into a new game. All right, back against the wall. When we finish at three and three. Well short of the money. Or can we make a little rally? No gimmies today. Vampires have only played tier one decks. I mean, Esper, Boros, Mono Red. I guess the blue deck. Yeah, one of our wins is against blue. Ooh, will we draw land? Maybe, maybe not. This is why I run like 26, 27 lands in way too many decks. Another turn one, come on. Every time. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, get to work. Bleed them dry. If I actually get to slam a roaming throne, I think we'll be in a good spot. Even if we don't, our hand is lining up good now that we have the third land. We have a lot of removal. Chick gets a counter. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, I'm sensing some vengeance. Punch him. They might have monstrous rage to survive something here. Uh huh. Wait for it. Treasure token. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, just a lightning strike. Okay. Your creatures are dead. Vampire! Bestest vampire. Let's go. Ah, that's the blowout we're looking for. Our opponent has a case of the Crimson Pulse. It should really make a drug for that. You know, clear that thing up. Praise. Give me the, your chicks. Bring me your chicks. Oh, the value. Oh, I love the value so much. Baron? Lifelink? Hell yeah. Epicor. Trigger plus trigger equals trigger. Use a blood token. We'll discard this, then convoke it out. Elden. Swifty. Both. I block. What is your play? Play with fire. I see. So. Let's do it like this. I'm not going to cheat out the Baron. Because now I lose nothing if I go for this cut down. They do transform their case. <laughs> so they get to draw two cards next turn. One, convoke, convoke. Yeah, we'll do like this. I'll just. Do I do it now? Nah. Not worth an extra point of damage. We'll have them next turn. We just have to make sure we don't die. Three cards in mono red if they stack their deck, who knows? But 15 with this much power on the field is too much, I think. Code Breaker. Here we go. All right, good enough for some old guy. I'll take the dub. Mono red's still not really a problem. Just need one more win. Even money dance with vampires? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One time. You know you want it. You know you want to celebrate the vampires. And listen to the sound of madness. I have a card with madness in here. It's a good hand. It's a good hand. Am I turn one Epicur or turn one Lounge? Probably the Epicur. We're not going to draw a Blood Tide Harvester off the top, right? Wouldn't be me. Cliffs. We chill. We chill. Let's see what they play. Well, I'm starting to think that this is not the matchup for a Vampire's Vengeance. I could have discarded a creature to have Corpse Appraiser, though. Maybe that would have been better. Let's play our own creature. They'll have to deal with it. 
they're attacking me right now. Well, it ties our life totals. If they didn't kill creature, that would have been good. But they get a 1-1. One, one. Do we want tie life totals? I can't manipulate my life total. I don't have a pain land. It might be worth it to block here. No. No, 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 no. Let's do it. You missed a land. I'm throwing this away to get off the tide life totals. I don't want them getting both abilities. I was hoping to find another way to do it. I could have Soren plused. That was the other option. I think that once I drew Roaming Throne though, this is better. Very hard for them to remove if they're going to miss lands. Okay, back up a back up preacher. All preachers all the way. Two creatures? Two creatures. Alright. Where are them removal spells at? Baron? Or another appraiser? We have to defend this Sorin. Our opponent will probably trade with this roaming throne. I guess let's stay on the grind plan. Just take card advantage where it is. As much as I love this roaming throne, I don't know if I can really hang with these preachers. Plus we have these sources of card advantage if the graveyards are full of creatures and these corpse appraisers. So let's keep it going. That sucked. <laughs> Vampire jokes. Again! Lame. Again! We're getting to see a lot of cards, so are they. Freaking Preacher. We might have to double block this thing. We just don't have a good answer to it. Ah, the dross! Oh no! That's really good. And a Virtue, Jesus! I'm, I'm seeing so many cards, I can't stack my deck and do this. Our opponent's a load of BS. All right. Soren, make me a life linker. Worthy of Mordor. Out of my way. I, we need this harvester me. to untap with these blood tokens. It's our best chance. Opponent GG's. Tell me it's a Brotherhood's End. Tell me it's just easy Brotherhood's End. Freaking clown shoes, dude. Not <laughs> yeah, I think you got me. Must be nice. All right, no even money dance. The vampires and Grixis have failed this city. So be it. Collect my prize, take my ball and go home. Feel the sadness. Today's random Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Matthias Banello. Thank you very much for being a member of the Cool Kids Club and supporting the one in best of one. I hope you're enjoying early access to videos like this. Every video you get about a day early. It can be fun. Before the meta is swarming with these vampires. Okay, maybe it won't 
Maybe this one won't take over the meta. We didn't get to seven wins. If we gone seven, oh, it would be everywhere like the Angels deck. But instead, we were stopped short of an even money dance. And a day when I am denied an even money dance is not a great day for me. I will be honest. But content was made. We're trying some things. We're just passing some time. Outlaws of Thunder Junction is coming. We'll have a new standard set to play with very soon. I'm excited for that. In the meantime, the Game of Thrones. Sometimes you win and sometimes you cry. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Put Vayne Ripper in this deck. Hit like if you think I should put Vayne Ripper in this deck. Hit like if you think I shouldn't. Just hit, just like. Like and subscribe. What, 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 what else do you have to do right now? You're not busy. You're not running off to another video or you would have clicked it already, wouldn't you? Yeah, just go. It's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what you're waiting for. You're cool.